I saw that there's been a lot of uproar that's been being made about this, so I figured I'd share my two cents on it. And what I'm referring to is a question in yesterday's presser that Jeff Zrebic, who is the best Ravens beat writer ever, that he asked John Harbaugh. And the question was, I think this is like the fourth practice we've been out here watching, and we've only seen QB Lamar Jackson once. Is that disappointing to you, or is this what you kind of expected? So, Jeff Zrebic letting it be known, like, hey, for the portions of practice that have been open to the media, we've only seen Lamar Jackson one time. But how would Ravens head coach John Harbaugh respond? Well, he said this. It's just this time of year. It's a voluntary time. It's really not something that we comment on. We can't. And that's just the time of year it is. So I can't speak for anybody that's not here. I pretty much know the different reasons guys aren't here most of the time, but not always. Nobody's required to tell you exactly what's going on, so I'm not really specifically going to be able to comment on anybody that way. But the guys who were here were great flying around, and those are the guys we had a great time coaching. So John Harbaugh answered that question, in my opinion, perfectly. Because what is he going to say? It's not a requirement for anybody to be there at voluntary OTAs. So he can't be like, oh, man, that guy should have been here. Oh, he should be present. He should, needs to be in the building. No, because it's not a requirement. So just as it's not a requirement for them to not for them to be there, it's also not a requirement for them to tell you the reason that they're not there. Now, with Lamar Jackson specifically, because I know a lot of people feel a lot of different ways about this, and I get it. I get it, especially as Ravens fans, that last game that we saw from them, it left a real bad taste in our mouths. And for them as players, too, it did the same thing. Zay Flowers even talked about it um, last week, I think, where he said they're not over that AFC championship loss yet. And that honestly will be something that I think they will never get over until they truly avenge themselves. Not in no regular season game, but <clears throat> of course in the playoffs. But we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, but us as fans, we want to see these players at every single OTA. We want to see them at every single practice. But two things I want to talk about. One, or actually three things. Uh, one, in order to really understand something, in my opinion, you have to put yourself in that person's shoes. Uh, in this case, Lamar Jackson, you think about, all right, if you were at work or at school and you have your required time where you have to be there, say, for instance, it's Monday through Friday, and you show up there Monday through Friday when you have to be there, but then your teacher or your boss is like, hey, you want to come in on Saturday? You want to come on and come on Saturday? You're not going to get paid extra for it, or if you're in school, you're not going to get extra credit toward your final grade on it, but you can just come in. Just be around the guys and whatnot. We're going to be practicing some things that you've gone over before, but, hey, it can't hurt to get even better, right? So it's, but it's your choice. With it being your choice, would you come in or would you stay home? That's, of course, up to you because I know some of y'all would be right there. Some of y'all would be like, no, I'm chilling at the crib. Now, what if you, as the employee, you were somebody that you, you know that the company can rely on you? You have proven yourself to your company, to your bosses, and really to the bosses around the entire company because you have been the most valuable employee or the best student, the student of the year, not once, but twice. Now, just because you've been a student of the year or the employee of the year, not once, but twice, it doesn't mean that you can't get even better. It doesn't mean that you are just above everybody else. That's certainly not the case. But what it does show is that, hey, stuff is going to be fine. Just because you're not there for the voluntary part of your work or school, it does not mean that you're this bad student. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you're neglecting everybody. Now. No, 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 no. You know what you have to do. And nine times out of ten, you've shown you can do it. You've proven yourself. So that's how I look at this whole situation with Lamar Jackson. He's somebody that can obviously be counted on. He's somebody that obviously shows up to work and shows up in a big way, obviously. Um, so with him not being present at the majority of the OTA, the, excuse me, the voluntary OTAs, because we have to say that, I do not think it's a big deal. And I get it, like, we, we want to see these players out there all the time. We want to see them throwing the passes, catching passes, running routes, covering each other. We want to see all that. Because us as fans, it's like, hey, we, like, we want to see that content. 
But for players, it's 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 not a, a big it's not the biggest of the big deal right now. Now another thing I wanted to talk about too, and this is something that I've learned, especially having done this for a while. You can never assume, never assume. I love how John Harbaugh talked about how with this not being mandatory that he cannot comment on why guys are not here because he said he knows for some of the guys some of the reasons that they're not here but for other guys he just doesn't know why because since it's not mandatory it does not have to be reported to him they don't have to tell him oh well Harbaugh I'm not showing up for this reason it's like again when if you you work Monday through Friday and if you're not going to show up you call the boss or you send him a text like hey I'm not going to be able to show up I'm not feeling good I'm dealing with this I'm dealing with that you tell them you're not going to show up and you give them the reason because that's a requirement. But remember that Saturday that we talked about earlier where it's not a requirement that you're there? If it's not a requirement, you're not going to be calling in. Like, hey, hey, boss, I'm not going to be there for the... No, no, no. You don't need to because it's not required. So with Lamar Jackson, what I was talking about, don't assume. We, we can't assume. And not to try to make it a bigger deal of why he's not there or, or, and, and whatnot, but we just don't know the reason. We don't know. So it could be something where Lamar Jackson, he just got other stuff going on. I mean, I'm sure y'all saw his story last night on Instagram where he was on his PJ and he, and he touched down in Hollywood. And it looked like he landed on a little private runway at Hollywood International Airport in Fort Lauderdale. So that could it have been that? Yeah, yeah. but um, he, he's not there. And he's down here. Like, I mean, who? You, you, you Florida? Would you rather be in Florida? But anyway, um, we can't assume because we don't know. We don't know if he got something going on. We don't know if he got personal stuff. We don't know. We have no clue. And whether he does or doesn't is not even the point. But again, it all boils down to it's voluntary. Now, one of the things that we've continued to highlight this offseason, and it's been highlighted throughout during the last season too, chemistry. Chemistry, oh, chemistry goes such a long way, and it's going to go such a long way uh, this season. But Lamar got chemistry with Zay. He obviously got chemistry with Mark Andrews. He got it with Isaiah Likely, too. He even had it with Nelson Aguilar, but somebody where it's been missing has been Rashad Bateman. Uh, and somebody who he has to build chemistry with, who could be a part of this offense, too, is Tez Walker. So I, I could see people being like, hey, Lamar should be out there at OTA so he can start getting reps in with these guys. And I agree that would be nice to see him out there. But at the same time, they have some mandatory practices coming up, I believe, in the middle of June that where they, they all have to be there. It's a requirement. Um, and then they get a long break all the way up until July. Uh, I believe their break is going to be like a month and change long all the way up until like the end of July. Um, so I'm sure he'll show up for that And he got plenty of time The whole team got plenty of time To really continue to get acclimated with each other Like again with him he, He's been here already he, he, He's been on a team already He understands this offense We saw how he commanded this offense last year how this, it just He really like took a leap last year As a quarterback in my opinion And, and a leap forward um, of course, now in the second year, he should have even more control and be able to run this offense even more efficiently. Um, but when, when you see guys like uh, a Derrick Henry out there, this is his first time in this offense. So this is going to be new for him. Of course, it's going to be it's a lot of terminology that he understands. He's been around for a long time. But him being at OTAs, especially as the new guy, we, we, we get it. We get it. And then a lot of other players. So there's a lot of veterans there, too. I mean, we, we saw Roquan Smith. We saw Kyle Hamilton for a little bit of a time. There's a lot of veterans that are there. There are a lot of vet veterans that aren't there. But the point is that with Lamar Jackson specifically, it's not a big deal. I, and, and I could understand how some people are starting to make it, but it's not a big deal. Now, Jeff Rebick did bring up something that was interesting. He said that because um, somebody was asking him, like, hey, wh why you even why'd you even ask that question, Jeff? Why would you ask that question to John Harbaugh about Lamar? And Jeff responded, he said, because it's my job and the franchise quarterback not participating in voluntary OTAs is at least notable and worth asking about. And then he replied, he responded, he said, man, it's voluntary. If it were mandatory, then I'd be asking, but to each their own. And Jeff responded to that. He said, sure, but. I believe 31 starting quarterbacks are attending most, if not all, of OTAs right now, including guys looking for new contracts. Still have to check on that, so it's not gospel. Again, it's not a major deal, but the fact that maybe one of 32 not, is not seems notable enough to ask the head 
coach. So Jeff's saying that uh, most quarterbacks, because he said again, he said the 31 out of 32 other quarterbacks that are attending OTAs, he said it's not gospel, so it's not a, an official number, it's not firm, anything like that. But he is letting it be known, like, hey, the, a lot of these other guys, they're there. They're there with their teammates right now as a starting quarterback, but Lamar hasn't been there, so it's a legitimate question to ask. And then he took it back. He took us all back with this one. He also said, Flacco got maligned by some every offseason for not getting his wide receivers together at a park in South Jersey for one or two days in early June. Uh, Harbaugh would be asked about that too, so, yeah, it's notable enough to ask about. And, yeah, I, I remember those days. We ooh, we would get on Flacco like why are you not getting together with your wide receivers? You need to be linking up with them in the off season. See this why Ravens keep falling short. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, I, I remember that. But ooh, <laughs> wow. But with Lamar Jackson, bottom line, it'll be okay. It'll be all right, Joe. It, 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 the things will be fine. Again, he's proven himself enough. Proven that like, look, he. He knows what to do. He knows how to handle himself. He knows how to handle his off seasons and get the job done. Um, but again, mandatory time when it's required, when he has to be there, I'm sure he'll show up. Uh, just like y'all be showing up with y'all subscribing to the channel, which I appreciate. Uh, y'all leaving likes on the video. Thank you very, very much for that. Continue to do that. And make sure you turn on your notification so you don't miss not a single video, not a single update, not a single anything. Special, special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. I appreciate y'all. You can always tell a Team Keep It Clean channel member when they comment because they got a nice pretty star next to their name. Special shout out also to the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all showing support to the channel. If any of y'all would like to show extra support to the channel, so many different links are down below in the description. Uh, make sure you check out our sponsor, powerhousewheels.com. If you want to get, get your rims right, get your tires right, you can go to powerhousewheels.com. We got discount codes for you down below in the description. This, the description got a lot for y'all. So make sure you don't sleep on the description. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for everything that you do. And we out.